boom, Tesla is booming up to the moon. It's breaking resistance levels. It's actually looking like it wants to turn bullish and boom up. Look at that nice run on Tesla side. Is this time to go crazy on Tesla, Tesla calls, Tesla shares? Let's go over that. If you're looking to get in Tesla, this is a very important video. I'm going to give you all key levels to kind of watch out for, support resistance. Now, if these resistance levels keep breaking, you might even see Tesla try to retest these 270s and try to go back up to 300. We're not going to go that far just yet. We're also going to go over news of the full self-driving and why you might see Tesla starting to push up today. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get the video of 100 likes within five hours. That's all I ask. And boom. So ticker symbol TSLA from Wheel of Knowledge Man. So it broke that resistance right around 223. Remember I told you all. Remember. I said Tesla needs to break out of the range, right? These are your shorter term levels I gave y'all yesterday, and we needed Tesla to break out those ranges to let us know where Tesla wants to go. Once it does that, then that can let me know where I want to play Tesla. It'll give me direction, right? So this morning, you can tell that 223 resistance level, what happened? Tested as support all through pre-market. Then this morning, it boomed off that resistance. So this was showing me this morning, which you can see in the private live streams, every morning the market open, first link in the description, make sure you join. Um, but that showed me that Tesla wanted to continue going up to higher prices. That's why we played Tesla. That's why we played Tesla twice this morning, okay? We played Tesla literally twice. Uh, let me show you. No, I played it one time, actually. I got Tesla calls right there. I played it for about 12% gains right there. We did Amazon calls, 4% gain. Then another Amazon call, over 45% gain. So we killed it this morning. Team is booming. Make sure you join the team. We got Elite, Elite Year, and Lifetime Memberships all available. Lifetime actually comes with personal training, by the way. So best bang for your buck. Price is probably about to go up in about a week personal training here as well, which you could do monthly, personal training, lifetime, early year, and then email me any questions, willknowledge7.gmail.com. Make sure you email if you have any questions, okay? But I also called another Tesla play when I was live. I was like, right here is decent Tesla buy. To it, We had a target up here, and it actually hit perfect, and that thing did about 20%. Now, I didn't play that one. I didn't have to. We already hit three plays uh, in the morning, so I was pretty much done. I think I did about nine to 10 scalps this week, but that was another potential run on um, Tesla on the upside. So, but we all got that from one Tesla breaking that resistance level. So what new levels do we need to watch out for now to know is Tesla going to start booming up or not? I almost sold some Tesla shares. If it would have started breaking below like 210, 204, I was going to cut some, but I tried to wait because Tesla's still in a range and we didn't have that direction just yet. Now we're actually getting it. So now, Let's go over some news and then we'll go over the Tesla level. So Tesla says it will launch full self-driving production in Europe and China early next year. Tesla said its full self-driving service, a paid ad on drive assistance feature, is slated for launch in Europe and China in the first quarter of 2025, pending regulatory approval. Tesla's yet to receive re um, regulatory permission to launch this FSD product in Europe and China. In July, Tesla CEO Musk said he expects to get regulatory clearance for the technology in two regions by the end of 2024. So that's some news that you're probably seeing to get off that. Like it did, it popped like 6% after the Electric Migo updated customers on the international rollout of full self-driving. So that's why you're probably seeing some up moving. Now, with that news being said, Tesla's no stranger. Tesla can boom for like 20 days in a row, right? It can really start going up. Every time it booms, it booms for at least 15 to 20 days, 15 to 20 days, 15 to 20 days, 15 to 20 days. No, so are we going to see that here? new levels. So we have a resistance level that is literally currently at. And what's going to be big today is I want to see, does Tesla close above this resistance area at 230? That's the first thing I want to see today. Okay. Does it close above this resistance? If it does, that's showing very strong signs that Tesla wants to continue up. If it closes below it, then the upside might kind of stall out. So that's the first thing. We do have support at 213. I will leave that there. But we also have a current support for today right around, I would say, about 227.50-ish in that area. So 227.50-ish. See how that support acts? Does it fall through it? Does it not? If you're looking at price right now, we are starting to come down from the highs that it made right around like 930-ish central time. And we're starting to pull down. So see if it cl closes above that resistance and see how this support acts just in case it comes back down below that resistance. And that might let us know. And I'll update y'all um, later on or maybe tomorrow on Tesla stock that I'm watching. Tesla's still my number one holding, by the way. But there's some other stocks that I want to push up close to number one or maybe even past number one. I'll make videos on that later. But these are major two support levels. Your current support level, current resistance level, why those are important. See how it closes today. 
and also your bigger support down here we're kind of far from that so we don't have to worry about this at least for today or this week maybe if it crashes or something we'll see some bad news or something but other than that this is what i'm kind of looking out for do i want to buy heavy shares tesla right now and not yet we already scalped it this morning for calls do i want swing calls in the area right now not yet okay there's still a lot of stuff going on in the markets recessions interest rates uh are, what is it called? Elections. So much stuff, right? So much news that can come out on Tesla that moves it very quickly. Tesla is a news type of stock mover, but when it moves without news, it's a banger, okay? So just kind of watch out for these levels for now. Watch out for the news. Watch out for Elon Musk. When you have a CEO, owner like Elon Musk, he's always going to be in the news for something, okay? As long as you understand that, then you'll be all right. But these are new levels for Tesla. As they break, I'll try to update y'all tomorrow on Tesla. I'll probably make a separate Tesla video maybe posted early, like around 8 a.m. Central Time, so look out for that. But other than that, make sure you guys join the team. First in that description, prices probably go up in about a week or so. And always remember, not to recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye.